Here we are in Philadelphia for this NFC West versus NFC East matchup between the Seahawks and the Eagles. What do you think of the matchup at receiver today, Phil? A couple of guys that aren't considered top threats by the defenses, but they've certainly made big plays through the years and this season, too. Well, we'll find out when this game is over if they are top threats. You know, Jim, kids grow up nowadays. They want to be receivers because that's what the NFL has turned into a passing league. So when you look at these two guys, they're going to get their chances. They're excellent route runners, and they're strong. So if they get that opportunity, they can break a tackle and still make a long run. Well, that time, the kick returner just does an awful job. He doesn't read the blocks. His guys are knocking him down. He goes the wrong way, and that gives him bad field position. First down coming up. Five step drop. He'll throw it over the middle. And the hit by Nandi Asamoa. Nice job by the offense picking up that first down here to start the game. And that is important to give you a little confidence, to give you some rhythm, and most of all, just release some of that pressure you feel. First and ten. Will go ground. He's brought to a halt. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down here after that run play. Play action. He'll fire it out to the left. That catch will extend the drive. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. He breaks another. Good for only a yard. Well, I know it was a short run that time by the by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. Second down and eight. They hand it off to him again. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. And he's forced to the ground. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up a sack early in a game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up a sack. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. These DBs will not back off. Going across the middle, they'll turn it over on downs. When you decide to go for it on fourth down as a head coach, you've got to realize that you're going to be one of two things. You're going to be a genius or an idiot. And if you don't make it, look out. The second guessing begins. Hey, let's go. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Now first and ten. The quarterback throws the pass. That's a wonderful job they timed by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Hey, let's go, base 24. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Second down and 10. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. 
He'll fire it out to the left. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Gun, gun, gun. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Let's go, Grace 24. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Two tights for this play. Just a quick drop back. Right where it had to be. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Jeremy Eagles in the end zone. It's commonplace now. It's hard to even say the word great for a catch by the wide receiver. We see so many of them, but this one, that is a great catch. Count it. And following the extra point, the Eagles are leading by seven. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. What a good job by the kickoff team. The ball's kicked high in the air, and they sprint all the way down there. The blockers can't get set up. Nice tackle. Now they got great field position for the defense. They face first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. That catch gives them a first down. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. It's first down as they head to the line. Breaks free. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. And that's a touchdown, and they inch closer. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score a touchdown. Pretty exciting stuff. The point after try is in the books. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. What a job by the kickoff team. The hustle. Everybody's sprinting down the field, and they get rewarded. They give great field position to their defense. They bring in the extra tight end. First down and 10. Looks around, and here he goes. Quarterback giving himself up. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The quarterback's calling something out. First and 10. Looking down the field. Wide open. Good catch. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. From inside the red zone. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Knocked down. And that time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Second and ten. Challenging the def six in the books. What a good job by the wide receiver. Not a terrific pass, but he just goes in there, makes a wonderful catch for the touchdown. 
It's good. And following the extra point, the Eagles are leading by seven. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. First down here. To the ground here. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Second down now. He gets it again on this drive. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Trying to find an open man. Good, solid tackle, short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. On the spot. And that's a tackle by not the Asamoah. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Lynch gets past the first wave, and the hit by Nandi Asuwa. Good job by the running back that time. Breaking tackles, finding the open hole, and picking up those extra yards. Two tight ends on the field here. First down and ten. Another carry here. He's in the clear, knocked out of bounds. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Hey, it's out, it's out, it's out. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Back to the running back. And that's a gain of nine. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Makes the catch. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And he's brought to the ground. Eagles getting ready now to start their drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. Three step drop. He makes the catch. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. They bring in an extra defensive back. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Has some space to work with. In the promised land. Touchdown. The wide receivers, they are turned into stars in the NFL. And you know why? Because they can make catches like this. What a great catch. The Eagles for the extra point. And 
The extra point is good. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. They're setting up return. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, there's nothing that time the kick returner could do. Terrible blocking up front. Nobody gets their job done, and that's why they have bad field position. They come to the line, and it's first down. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. And that's a tackle by Namdi Asamoah. An off-tackle run. It's a staple of... All offenses in the NFL, and a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Second down and five. Staying on the ground. They pounce on him there. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Third and short. Working that left side. Reaches out and grabs it. He dives into the end zone for the score. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The point after is good. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Takes the stab from the shotgun. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Taking off. Eagles in for the score. You can never talk enough about special teams in the NFL. It truly is a third of the game. And when you get a kick return for a touchdown, that just gives you so much momentum. Look at the blocks. Look at the speed of the returner. Great job. Leads to a touchdown. Looks to his left. And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle is made at the 41. Well, that time the kick returner just does an awful job. He doesn't read the blocks. His guys are knocking him down. He goes the wrong way, and that gives him bad field position.
First down here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. They deck him in the backfield. After running it, it's second down. Ohio! Ohio! This is a screenplay all the way. Throws out the arm. Nice tackle. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. The give to the running back. Number 24 with the carry. Gain of two on the play. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. He's scrambling down. Runs out of bounds. The ball carrier on the play. Game of 12. First down, offense readying for the snap. Looking to go up top again on first down. The pass had to be perfect. Shoved out of bounds. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. The defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone. The quarterback throws to the right. Muscles through the defender. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Halftime, two minutes away. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Play number six coming up on this drive. Lynch, in the end, it picks up only a yard. A lot of ways where the offense can go this time. They can run it or throw it, and even if they score, they're still going to be down, but it's always great to execute the play the right way. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Hey, up the middle.
This will be the eighth play of this drive. Dropping back three, back to the ground. And he's in for the touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Got a flag on the field. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. We put an additional two points on the board as they convert. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Brings out of that one. Tackles made. What a good job by the kickoff team. The ball's kicked high in the air, and they sprint all the way down there. The blockers can't get set up. Nice tackle. Now they got great field position for the defense. The Eagles are getting set for their next possession. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Slips past one player. Touchdown! It's commonplace now. It's hard to even say the word great for a catch by the wide receiver. We see so many of them. But this one, that is a great catch. The Eagles for the extra point. That timeout by the offense. Lining up now for the two. Trying to work that left side. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. First down on the way. The quarterback's hovering out instructions. They'll go shotgun here. Eyeing that left side. Inhales the pass. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. First down here after the completion. From the gun, looking for an open receiver on the right. He dives in for the score, touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Look, that's an interception. The 
They're lining up here for the onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Eagles come onto the field now for this next series. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. First down coming up. The throw to the left. Reaches in, knocks it away. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Gun, gun. Hey, let's go. Base 24. Eagle, eagle. Base 24. It's a two eagle, tight eagle. end formation. Wait, wait, wait. Second down and 10. Scans the field. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Looks like they're in press gun, coverage here. Gun, gun, the quarterback gun, has gun. his team's attention here. Looking at every option. That's a timeout by the D. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Quick drop back. Throwing now to his left. Has the reception all alone. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You do not have to be as accurate as a quarterback when you're throwing against zone defenses. There's nobody close to knock it down. So that time, not a great throw, but because it was his own defense, he still gets the completion. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. Oh, man, he almost gets in the end zone so close to get over the goal line. was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it. Touchdown. Playing press coverage to the outside. He'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He will run this one back. Going to be tackled right around the 37. The Seahawks ready to take over the football. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side and the hit by Nandi Asamoa. This is what you call throwing the wide receiver open against man to man coverage. Throw it to the open space, let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion.
This will be the last play before halftime. First down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Knocked away incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You've got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team has the recovery. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. This is a five-step drop back. He'll fire it out to the left. Ball is batted down. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down after the incompletion. Three-step drop. And he's taken down. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The quarterback's calling something out. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Just a quick drop back. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Well, what a play for the touchdown, and I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now, you can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job, good score. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Looking, ball's picked off. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. They face first down. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Another handoff brought down at the 41-yard line. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming, your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. They're trying to pick up the first down on fourth down, forgetting the punt. 
That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Good job by the defense that time. Fourth down, they were ready for everything. Very aggressive, fast. They make the play, and this could change the game around. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Three-step drop. Trying to work the middle of the field. That ball has been picked off. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Going for the home run. Reaches in, swats it away. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Second down coming up. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. Now looking to throw. Thrown incomplete. <laughs> Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Swatted away. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. sure why they're going to go for it at this point, but they are. They're not going to punt off the mark. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down, and you just got to expect either way that you're going to make it, or if you don't make it, what are you going to do? They're winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. That's a gain of seven. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Gun, gun, gun. The defense comes hey, out in the nickel. Second and three. They'll run it with him again. Surround the defender. That's an excellent job. Just getting enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. First and ten, staying on the ground. He's brought down. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Look at that whole cadre of receivers on one side. Hey, let's go! Eagle, eagle! Hey, let's go, base 24! Base 24! Trying to beat the play clock. Working that left side. Touchdown! There is no lead in the NFL. It's safe. We all know that. We have seen tremendous comebacks. So when you get the opportunity, lay it on him, man. Keep scoring. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. 
Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. like they've recovered the onside no kick. That ball, again, not traveling 10 yards, and what are they thinking over there on the sideline? Well, they're thinking this is why everybody hates kickers. Get the ball down there 10 yards. My gosh, kick it 15 yards. We'll still recover it. Just a, just a terrible one. First and 10. Going to go draw. Trying to power his way right up the middle. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, Listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. From the shotgun. He wants to go deep. Touchdown. And they get one back. What a good job by the wide receiver. He made them think he was going across the field. Instead, look what happens. Wide open. Nice touchdown. Lining up now for the two. Out of the shotgun formation. Getting away from the pressure. The quarterback throws to the right. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little uh, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. We saw an injury early in this game, and now we're starting to hear he should be able to return before this one's over. So that's some good news. Yeah, it is good news to him, his family, all the friends, and, of course, the, the fans uh, here in attendance today, they're going to be happy because he has been playing awfully well. Hey, let's go. Eagle, eagle. Wait, now first and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Going to be a tackle for a loss. And it's going base 24. Second down here. The quarterback has his team's attention here. They need to get the playoff. Looking for an open receiver on the right. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer is more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They pad the lead with that touchdown. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. like the receiving team has recovered. Seahawks come on to the field for their next series. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And the ref has thrown the flag. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. You took a few of these shots in your day, and that's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays, these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This, to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player, feel bad. You, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. First down following the penalty. Drop back, shotgun formation. The defense did not give up an inch. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. Right, 
Second down following that incompletion. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. They're going to the hurry up. Back to the line. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Third and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gains 20. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First down following the long play. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Challenging in his hands. Complete touchdown. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. This works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back to a wild one here. They're lining up here for the onside kick. Side kick's going to pay off here. Kicking team appears to have the ball. The Seahawks get ready to start their drive. First down here. Lynch up the middle for about four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Screen brings it in. And he's knocked out of bounds. Well, it was man-to-man -man coverage. Bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. They come to the line, and it's first down. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That reception picks up the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Here, a split backfield. From the gun, the quarterback throws to the right. He stacked up at that point. Good job of the defense at time, stopping him. Inches short of the goal line. Big play. Let's see how they back up the big play here to the air here on first down. The pass doesn't find a mark. 
Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Play number six coming up on this drive. Tossing it to the running back. Now makes the move to the right. Well, when you get this close, it'd be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Looking across the middle. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Better be careful here. Terrible starting field position here for the offense. The Eagles now move the chains. Touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch. Touchdown. And after that extra point, the Eagles are leading by 19. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team the recovery first down here Dropping back three. Looks to his left. Got a flag. That ball was going the other way. Bringing the play to an end. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The play clock's running down. Interception. Not giving up another inch. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. In the red zone, first down and 10. Quarterback drops back, play action. Touchdown, Seattle. What a good job by the wide receiver. Not a terrific pass, but he just goes in there, makes a wonderful catch for the touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Looking to the... Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. Side 
kick executed to near perfection, and it looks like the kicking team has it. Split backfield here. The formation here, shotgun. Trying to work that left side. The defense had that one covered. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Games 19. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. Out of the gun. He's looking to the right, and it's intercepted by Asamoah. Good piece of tackle. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver, makes the break at the perfect time, and gets the interception. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and ten. Going to lose yards here. That's a timeout by the defense. Offense lines up here. The quarterback throws to the right. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Press coverage all the way. Offense lines up here. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Eagle, Eagle. Hey, let's go. Double tight end formation. Hey, let's go. Base 24. Base 24. First and ten, McCoy, he's got a wide open alley. The ball is out. Hold on a minute, there's an injured player on the field. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high, and we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because the, the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower, won't get any flags thrown that way. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Looking for an open receiver on the right. There's a flag on the play. He was trying to beat him along, and the defenseman tried to catch up, reached in before the ball arrived, and that is, in fact, pass interference. Yeah, that's an easy call. You know, just think about this. We're down, you're running the race, and somebody during the middle of the race reaches his arm out and hits you. Of course, it's going to slow you down. That's why it's pass interference. Great starting field position for the offense. Looking to the right side and throwing. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. When you play man-to-man -man coverage, it takes a good throw and catch. That time, neither was there. Another incomplete pass. Third down now. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Surveys. 
across the middle, and it's knocked down incomplete. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. They're not going to be punting here. The offense back out here on fourth down. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. With two hands, he has it. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move. Gets open and a good throw by the quarterback. Eagles getting set now for their next series. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. It's it again here. He's tackled at the 28. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle spot and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. They feed him the ball again. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. These DBs will not back off. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down and 10. Right back to him one more time. To the right side. Gains 13. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. That's it. This game is over. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up. Brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover. Giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles.